Welcome to the next episode of Hardware Stories. Today I will tell you how I fix this educational kit with the microcontroller AT51 um, AVT2250 set. Thank you all guys for the helpful advice that you left in Facebook groups related to the AT51 electronics and microcontroller. One of your proposals was to write a simple program lighting the LED on. I must admit that I wasn't completely sure about the defective software. Firstly, because the processor performed jumps and orders in accordance with the data in memory. I talked about it in the first episode. Secondly, manually setting by hand the I.O. 1 line to low and fast clicking the reset button showed the segments to be properly lit. One of the most helpful tips was to get your attention to the microcontroller's clock signal, a crystal oscillator 11.052 MHz and 33 picofarads capacitors connecting it to the ground. I replaced all these elements, but there was still no result. I decided to check again if the microcontroller is not damaged. For this purpose, I have replaced the only one I found, this time ATC31 from Didactic Seg DSM51. To my surprise, AVT2250 came to life, yeah! Appeared an inscription, dash, hello, and the dot. I also checked the Intel ATC51 microcontroller, which was at AVT2250 before. After inserting it into TSM51 set and start up, an inscription appeared like in good operated microprocessor. However, running the test function in the BIOS showed RAM error. Maybe it means microcontroller's internal RAM memory. In any case, wrong component turned out to be a microprocessor. After two days of work, the problem came back. No one display was lighting completely at this time. No reaction to resetting and pressing the keys also. I decided to check what is happening in the oscillator circuit. For this purpose, I used the Sali logic analyzer because only it had then. Checking the probe of the first channel on the processor spin. I checked if the low state channel 1 LED was lighting in analyzer. And so the P1 port usually has all the pins in a high state or 5V. They don't illuminate the analyzer's activity LED. But going from the pin 20 or ground, the LED lights on and when I touched pin 18, where is connected the quartz oscillator, also the dot lit on the display of AVT2250 set. It was indicating the BIOS microsystem is working. Then holding Sali probe on pin 18 of the microcontroller, I pressed the reset key. This resulted in the display of the dash and the hello inscription. And so, it fell on the 33 picofarads capacitor connecting the microcontroller's pin number 18 to the ground or the quartz oscillator itself. I prepared the oscilloscope and checked what was happening on pin 18 referenced to ground, also pin number 19 reference to ground, and what is happening if I connect the probes of the 
oscilloscope between the two pins. On pin 18 there was a sign signal with frequency 11.05 MHz and lifted about 3 V DC. The voltage measured on pin 19 constant reached 1.84 V. The signal between the pins was 0 V. I replaced the 33 picofarad capacitor again only on pin 18. After that, AVT2250 microsystem has worked. So it was a second fault. How it looks after repair? I measured the oscillator signals again. On pin 18 referenced to ground, the signal was again sinusoidal with a frequency 11.05 MHz. On pin 19 referenced to ground, the voltage again reached the value 1.84 volts. The difference was in the measurement between pins 18 and 19. Sinusoidal 42.55 MHz frequency signal with a DC level at 0 volts is a valid value. And now, using digital logic analyzer, I will check how the digital address lines behave, focused at A13 and A14, which activates the display and the keyboard. I'll also check the IO1 and IO2 signal. Recorded waveforms are sampled for the few seconds with a 24 MHz frequency. At the beginning, the reset key is pressed. To be able to see the signal's variability, there should be zoomed this selected area. Signals on data lines contain both data and address information. The data is selected by the falling slope of the PCEN control signal. Binary values on data lines D0 to D7. The addresses are latched when the falling slope of the ALE or control signal occur. Binary values on address line A0 to A7 and A8 to A15. At the end you can see the activation, display and keyboard signals that change periodically IO1 and IO2. Recorded addresses and data making a fragment of the performed program included in the EEPROM memory. In the hex file there is all contents of this memory. I found matching sequences of values. In the near future we will try to disassemble the BIOS and understand the operation of its functions. I am presenting the reverse engineering sample today of this file. I invite you for more for a few episodes. Since the AVT2250 didactic set works, in the next episode I will show what is the possibilities of its built-in BIOS microsystem called Monitor. Thanks for watching and your help. See you soon, guys!